What to do when your depressed friend tells you they're very depressed. When your depressed friend comes to you, and it's rare that they would because a lot of people hole up and they pretend they're not depressed, but if someone's depressed enough, struggling enough, in, in enough pain and discomfort, scared enough, there's a chance that they might be vulnerable about it. And they might come to you and they might tell you what's going on with them. If they do, if they come to you and they have the courage and the bravery to be completely authentically honest, don't tell them what they need to do to be better. Don't immediately tell them, this is what you should be doing to get better. Have you tried this? What about that? Don't do that. Also, don't tell them it could be worse. Don't immediately bring up other situations or other world issues or other people's stories or something you've been through in some misguided attempt to give them perspective. It won't. It's a mistake. Don't do it. You're taking their pain and suffering, their vulnerability, and then you're switching it and making it about something else. It doesn't work that way if you're depressed. It doesn't work that way in a lot of situations. Here's what I want you to do. This is my opinion. Just listen. Just listen. That's all. Hold space with them. If you're going to say anything, tell them that you hear them and you believe them and that you can imagine how hard that must be. Ask them more questions. What are you going to do next? How can I be of service to you? Tell me more about these feelings you're having. When did this all start for you? I can only imagine how difficult this has been for you. Listen, ask more qualifying questions. Don't take on their emotions. Empathize, don't sympathize. Just hold space for them. Don't make it about you. Don't tell a personal story of time you struggled also. It's not about you right now. And they don't need you to be the one to fix them. At this very moment, if they're coming to you, if you're so lucky to be that person, just listen. These are my words to you. These are, this is my advice to you. This is coming from someone with a, a lot of experience in this department. If you take my advice, it'll go a long way for that person taking more steps to heal. And it certainly will go a long way for that person trusting you with their sadness, trusting you with their pain. I know what I'm talking about on this one. Um, and the last thing I'll say to you is that they may need to talk about this again and again and again. And if they request your feedback, if they solicit some of your advice, perhaps you start exploring some potential things. Never make it about you and never try to fix. Explore ways that they can be healthy and just listen. I think that's the best thing you could possibly do. And I wish you well. And the last thing I will say is that if this person that came to you is struggling, there's a fair chance that they're gonna be struggling for quite some time. If it's real depression, if it's real anxiety, if it's real depersonalization, if it's a real serious life changing event or trauma or trigger or grief, they're gonna be needing help and support for a long time. So the best thing you can do is bolster yourself. Set up a boundary in your mind as to how much you want to uh, be a part of that support system and then take better care of yourself because it can be overwhelming to support someone who's struggling because they may be struggling for a long time and that won't be on your timetable. So decide what you can and can't do. Try not to uh, take it personal that this guy or gal may be struggling and go from there. But the better self-care you have, the better you're doing, the better chance that you'll be able to be consistent and then not take it personal if that person is still struggling. It can take a long time. These are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Uh, but I stand by these words because, because I think I'm fucking right on this one. Take care.